Ahead of this winter storm, agencies across the Midwest have been making sure they're prepared. It's also important to make sure you're prepared. A great tool to have is MnDOT's 511 map. We're used to seeing it on our screen here showing roads that are clear, partially covered or fully covered. Our Olivia Prinziski has more on how MnDOT determines those road conditions. It's really intended to just be another tool in your toolbox. Know before you go. That's a phrase heavily used this time of year as we endure winter driving conditions. But how does MnDOT determine road conditions? The answer, all of its plows carry a system that relays real-time information to 511. We hope you're also taking advantage of other uh, features on 511, like our highway cameras, our snowplow cameras, that can really give you a visual. Green means good, blue means light snow, and pink means the roadway is completely covered or icy. Drivers can also relay conditions they are experiencing. This is a computer system just like many others, so it's going to take in some factors, but it may not be perfect all the time. And that's why we really count on drivers to do their part to keep all of us safe. In a perfect world, everyone stays off the road, but we know that can't always be the case. That's why if you're going to brave the conditions, Minnesota Emergency Management has a checklist of supplies you should carry. I hit the road today to see if drivers are prepared. Shovel, ice scraper, snow brush. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Traveler Eric Olson shared that he has been in a scary situation where he had to wait hours for help. But we couldn't get the car out, so we just we had to wait for a couple hours because a lot of other people had also gotten stuck. Yeah. And I'm sure that that experience kind of made you think, hey, I want to be a little bit more prepared the next time in case this ever happens yeah. again. Definitely. So after reviewing this list, I decided to take one of our news cars and put it to the test to see how prepared I would be in case I get stuck on the side of the road. Now, I actually would deem this car pretty safe. We have found a flashlight, warm clothing, bright colored clothing, a window scraper, hand and feet warmers, and as well as an emergency car kit that has road flares, jumper cables, and an extra pair of gloves. This will be a storm that certainly will, will have a, a wide impact and, and perhaps have folks be dealing with slick spots that they haven't seen already this season. Reporting in Rochester, Olivia Pranzinski, KTDC News. And if you do have uh, upcoming travel plans, here are some important websites that you can monitor. They are the 511 site uh, for Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. You'll find the latest winter road conditions from the tri-state DOTs along with incident reports, traffic cameras, and other travel-related information to help you know before you go.